G'day mate, welcome back to Captain Ministry with me, Judy, and today, today we're going to be talking about all things glass. All things glass. Why are we talking about glass today? Well, because I've already covered in depth and how to build an iron smelter, how to build a neat smelter. A neat smelter, highly efficient smelter. We've also done the exact same for copper. We've covered copper entirely. We have also covered steel. But one thing we haven't looked at yet is glass. So I figured we might as well throw glass in the mix, make sure we covered all the smelters in all their glory, start to end. Glass is a little bit more complicated, but that's okay, it's a little bit further into the game. So I trust, I trust by now that we can get this together without too much hassle, without too much, uh, without too many mistakes. At least that's the, my hope because I have to build this, but our plan is to get together a glass mill to be able to pump out probably all the glass you'll ever need. And yes, it is uh, further, far enough into the technology tree that we're gonna have to recover recyclables as well. So of course this will, will be uh, the first in this series that's gonna be fully compliant for recyclables. Yes, we're gonna have to put uh, broken glass, broken glass into this smelter array as well. So that adds another step of complication. And to whoever's gonna ask down the comment section about the future smelters, the Mark II smelters, yes, we'll also make sure it's compliant for the Mark II smelters. And I will be doing a recap video for the other smelters we've already covered already, and this one probably, uh, how to upgrade them to the Blast Furnace Mark II, along with how to make sure that they're compliant for recyclables in the future. But with all that said, we need to obviously demolish everything, start with a clean slate, and go from there. So now we've got a clean slate. Uh, I'm going to start before we get into the complicated things. Can I can I borrow that like? I want to borrow it right now before we get into the super complicated things. By all means, as we work, work our way through the video, if you guys are not happy, not happy with the video, I didn't explain something well enough along the way, by all means, you can have your like back. But if you guys could do that for me, we can start talking about a glass smelter and how to make some glass. So we start with a glass maker. So glass maker is going to take in molten glass uh, to give us glass and some slag. Yes, we have slag coming out of the end product. Same time, I'm going to start with a blast furnace. Just a basic one, a blast furnace mark one, which has one recipe right here, which is the glass mix. Also, it's going to have to ha handle broken glass, which is a slightly different recipe, but mostly the same. Broken glass, uh, which is your recycled glass, is going to give you your molten glass, which means we also need to work out how to get recycled glass that comes from recycler whole different video we'll cover that sometime in the future uh we also need glass mix glass mix is going to come from a mixer of all places who would have thought it okay glass uh, mixer is going to have two recipes i'm actually going to set up both of these recipes and i want to make sure that the one that requires acid is the topmost priority because i want this recipe to be the one that's running if we're gonna mm, if we have acid if we have acid i want to use this recipe because it takes the same amount of ingredients in, but with the extra acid, we increase our glass mix out by 25%. And acid uses water and sulfur. And sulfur, let's be honest, is nine, out, nine times out of 10 a waste product. So we need to have uh, one of these plugged in a some amount of these, plugged in a some amount of these. Great. All right. With all that out of the way, we've done our, our preliminary planning. We're going to start with storage. Oh, I'm going to start with you going away. All right, I like to start storage because storage is like a fixed location. We know where storage needs to go. From there, we're going to go back into our uh, casting and we're going to need two of these guys. Okay. Now, uh, they can obviously slide a tile further forward. Yep. All right. And we're going to plug your output into there, your output into there. On top of that, they have slag. Okay. Now, slag, I can't click this right now because it doesn't like me. Uh, I should be able to get a U-shaped and come in from there. Nah, nah, you're just gonna have to step out of the way for a minute just so I can get the first belt done. We wanna come forward a tile and, oop, try again. Forward a tile. And I'm also gonna hook into the rear of you because I want that connector. Once I have that connector there, I can plug you back in there and we can remove that top, okay? So our slag is gonna come out in the middle between these two things, which means we now need to go back into blast furnaces. And I need two blast furnaces. And I wanna put them, uh, one there and one there, okay? Now we have a two tile gap, we don't need a two tile gap. One tile gap is more than enough, okay. One tile gap between the two of them. I want to plug that uh, malt channel in there and in there. And our slag, we're going to join these two together. Which now means I can join that slag to that slag. Great. We've done with the front half. The only thing I haven't done is I haven't done with the smoke. 
we're just going to put in two smokestacks. Okay, nice and simple. These are going to output when they're doing glass mix and when they're doing broken glass. They're going to do 24 or 18 exhaust. Yes, I could join them together. Yes, I could use one pipe. We're not going to do that. It's entirely up to you. For me, it's just not worth the hassle and the, the, the everything and trying to get all the pipes to line up. And it's, it's easier and cheaper and quicker on my time, your time to have two separate smokestacks. One thing I do want to do is I want to prioritize the broken glass as the primary recipe. I'm going to copy that to there to there, and that should give us everything we need, which means I still need to get two items in, okay? Two items into this mix, which means we've done this many, many times before. Come out three tiles. Belt number one, uh, height number one uh, for belt number two, and height number two for belt number three, okay? The idea behind this is you are going to be glass mix. Uh, yep. And you're going to be glass mix. You're going to be coal on the second belt. And coal on the second belt. And our slag is going to go to the top belt. Nice, simple, done. All right. That brings us on to our mixer. Our mixer, we need to have a mixer. Uh, let's cut you and flip you yeah our mixer which does so many different recipes there's a list of things that we can mix together we only care about our glass mix and our glass mix with acid again i want to increase the priority on the one with acid because you can output 48 glass mix you will need 24 and you will need 24 okay and what I want to do is I want to have a one tile gap. That one tile gap is very important uh, and pop you right there. So with those two recipes selected, I want to connect that part, that belt into there. Okay, that's going to push our glass mix into here. It does mean all this is wasted and we're going to need some of that in a second. So we're going to leave that right there for now. So you are going to need three, four different inputs. That's a nightmare. All right, what I want to do is I want to put one of these sideways. Okay. Very, very important we put one of these sideways because that we're using for spacing. Uh, F, okay. I want one belt, uh, two belts, and three belt. After I got my three belts, whoop, we're going to get you and we're going to make you go away, which now means I'm going to have belt number one, belt number two, and belt number three. Yeah, that mixer was just there for spacing. But we also need acid. So acid, I'm going to flip you, and we're going to put right here. Now, you are going to be doing just the acid recipe, which is going to require sulfur, which we're going to storage container, storage container right there. And whoop, wrong button. We want to plug that there. At the same time, you're going to output acid, and we're going to take that one tile up, up and drag it over there, and then bring it into there. Now... In the future, we do want to make sure these things are expandable. If we make sure we get a connector on there, we can put a second one of these here in the future. But that's a future problem, which we're not talking about right now. We're covering the today problems, the current problems. Okay, so with that all done, uh, we need to obviously handle some of our inputs and our outputs. So we have sulfur. You, you're simple. We're just going to set you to be sulfur. There we go. Uh, I need some amount of sulfur which is going to run into the glass mix. On top of that, you need a pipe of water. You are meant to be over one tile. Okay, I need to have a pipe of water. Where you get your water from is entirely up to you. But if we bring you at height two, actually, we'll just drag you across to make sure we're not going to get a ramp anywhere we don't want one. You'll make 24 acid. You need 12. So we can double this system very quickly, very easily. Uh, we don't need that anymore. All right, so we have sulfur into this machine. This machine is going to run that machine, which is going to make sure we got acid. We also need sand, limestone, and salt. So connect, uh, storage, we're going to go with first one, plug straight there. Second one, we're going to run, uh, let's run it this way. And our third one, we're going to actually face uh, away from everything else and put that there. All right, so first one is going to plug straight in. And these you can do in any order. So we have sand, limestone, and salt. We're going to start with you. You're going to be sand. You're going to be limestone. And you're going to be salt. It really doesn't matter what order these are in. They're all perfectly fine. We do want to take limestone and plug it into that belt. There we go. And we want to take our sand and we want to plug it into that belt. 
Now, I will mention... Oh. Go away. All right. I will mention very quickly, uh, if you're doing this belt and it doesn't want to... It wants to do stupid things, you, we can press the F button. The F button means, hey, don't connect to, you know, connecting ports. It'll run straight past connecting ports and block them off and not give a damn. It's like the f off button. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So that is these three, which is going to run this one. This is going to give us 48 glass mix. 48 glass mix goes in here and here. We're going to use 24 apiece. We still need to get coal and I still need to account for broken glass. So broken glass. Let's do broken glass. We need that connected to go. go, go well, I'm fine. We'll bring out the polish tool. I want that belt to go away. That belt to go away. And what becomes that belt under there to go away as well. Okay. Then we're going to get a U-shaped balancer. I'm going to drop that right in there. I'm going to grab another storage container and I'm going to put that right beside the machines. The reason I'm going to put it right beside the machines is we're going to take broken glass. I'm going to shove it straight in there. You then become broken glass. Okay. This priority uh, splitter means we're going to say input from there. Now, technically that belt goes away. So you could run it over an extra tile if you so deem so, like so. Voila. Great. Yep. Okay. Priority input there. So I want to prioritize the broken glass because you're going to end up with a lot of broken glass. And frankly, you don't want it backing up the system. Uh, I'm going to set you to priority one. We're going to set you, well, everything else generally leave priority whatever. But broken glass, you don't want broken glass breaking and backing up other systems. On top of that, we need, still, need, still need to get it in coal and deal with the slag. So we're going to have one here for coal, one here for slag. Coal is going to be this belt. Plug straight in there. And slag is going to be, come on, one more time and down done slack okay so with all that out of the way providing i have set everything correctly no we need to bring in salt please i need to bring in limestone please i need to bring in sand please i need to bring in sulfur please i need to bring in broken glass i need to bring in coal and you are going to have slag which i want to get rid of if I've done everything correctly, uh, we can cancel off all the excess belts and we have excess belts for the reason of if you feel like you need to build it twice the size, you can. I honestly don't think you will need to. You will need more later in the game, but you do get a more efficient one of these, a Glassmaker Mark II, which should cover all your worries. And we're going to uni build. Oh, actually, no. Something I've started doing often is counting out construction parts. So 376 Mark II, 100 of Mark III with 150 of the Mark Ones with, you know, some amount of rubber thrown into the mix. Uh, but we are going to uni build the whole thing. And then providing I've done everything correctly, it should just kick into action, which is what I like to see because it means that I've done the video correctly. Uh, we're going to run this at three times speed and wait for some trucks to show up with some goodies. All right, so we've had the glass or well, everything required for the glass mix to run. So we've started making some glass mix, which is going to get plugged into there. But as we can see, because we have a whole bunch of broken glass, that is getting the priority. Now, if I pause you really quickly, as in, you know, we accidentally ran out of broken glass, we could see that the glass mix is going to start taking over. Now, again, if I unpause that belt, we can see it's instantly going to take the priority. Now, do you want to mention that, yes, we're, we're doing 48. These guys only need 24. That's fine. When it comes to broken glass, they actually need 36, which means technically our belt only moving 60 items per second. It's not enough to feed this and this with broken glass at the time. But honestly, really doesn't matter because it's going to be supplemented with some fresh glass. You're going to always need some fresh glass because obviously recycling is not 100% efficient. So the fact that the belt probably not quite fast enough to run through all the broken glass that's perfectly fine as you can see whatever broken glass i had has disappeared in the colony of 1800 people uh but yes we can see these guys are running they are doing way better if i actually plug in glass belt it's always good to make one mistake it proves i'm human okay you are outputting glass uh flat out you're outputting glass flat out What's your error? Oh, your error is just you have too much glass. Okay. 
we are obviously kicking our slag out. Slag's coming up around the outside. It's getting it stored. We're going to put that in the sea because that's the best place for slag to go. We're definitely burning off our sulfur. Being the fact that we only use six sulfur per 24 acid and we're using 12 acid, it means we're using three sulfur, okay? Um, three sulfur per minute. Trucks are going to fill this. They're not going to come back for a very, very long time. Sand is actually going to be your biggest use in this system uh, because you are going to need 48 sand every minute to keep this running. Mm, you're going to supplement it with broken glass, so it's not going to be quite that much, but sand you're going to go through awfully quickly. So you have been warned. But that is the complete glass build with priority put in for broken glass, of course. You could sideload it in and save yourself 5 kilowatts worth of power, but look, at the point you're in the game when you're starting to deal with glass power shouldn't really be a problem but uh that is the whole video that is the whole build as always i will put some high resolution screenshots on discord if you want to check them out with the grid overlay on just to help you build it and yes now that we've got copy and paste you can just build this absolutely anywhere and then you know drop it elsewhere in the map wherever you see fit um and truck trap trucks on the way through because that's what we do anyway with all that said um can i keep that like can i keep that like you're happy with me to keep the like also if you're curious about any other smelters that i mentioned in this being the iron the copper and the steel smelter they are of course linked in the playlist down the bottom and lastly if you want to keep up with the tutorials and also the upgraded versions the smelter the blast furnace mark ii uh, the big boys, if you want to keep track of what builds, I just, I, I, I show you guys for, for these guys, by all means, click the subscribe button below. We'll be covering those in future videos, but that's going to be it from me. That's going to be it from me and the glass smelter. I hope this guy, this video as always has helped you guys out. I hope future videos help you out as well. And any questions, any comments, that's what we have the comment section for. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the very next video. All right. Bye.